Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can use the weekly timesheet to enter the hours worked by a person, what they did, where they did it, for which customer job, and optionally how much you paid them to do it. Now if using QuickBooks 2006 through 2011, you can open the weekly timesheet window by choosing Employees, rolling down to Enter Time, and then selecting the Use Weekly Timesheet command from the menu bar. If using QuickBooks 2003 through 2005, you can open the weekly timesheet by choosing Employees, rolling down to Time Tracking, and then selecting the Use Weekly Timesheet command from the menu bar. Now in the weekly timesheet window, use the name drop-down to select the name of the individual for whom you want to view or track time. If you want to change the week that you're viewing in QuickBooks 2003 through 2009, just click the Set Date button in the lower left corner of the screen. That will bring up the Set Date dialog box. Use the calendar drop-down that appears to select any date that is in the week for which you want to view or enter data, and then click the OK button. In QuickBooks 2010 and 2011, you can instead select a date in the week from the Calendar Selector button that appears at the top of the window. Then you can enter or simply view the customer job, service item, payroll item if you enable your employees to enter their hours via the timesheet, notes, and the hours that the selected person spent doing work. If you make entries into the data shown within the timesheet, be sure to click the Save and Close button to save and close the timesheet window when you're finished. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.